Hey YouTube, it's me, Miss Deb Six Zero, and I just want to come in real quick and do um, a review, a dedication, a reaction to One Life to Live, nineteen eighty six, and it was my favorite couple on One Life to Live. I used to have my VCR set when I was at work every day at 1 o'clock to catch Tina and Cord on One Like to Live. I only looked at it for Tina and Cord. If Tina and Cord wasn't together, I was out of there. But I would get out for work. I was working at the phone company then. I'd get out for work, make dinner for my son or whatever, and we eat. And by like nine o'clock, I was sitting on the couch looking at Tina and Cord. And I had my VCR so I could just fast forward to all the scenes with them on it. This was one of my favorite couples. It's my first favorite couple. My second favorite couple is on Bold and the Beautiful. And that was Ridge and Brooke. I used to do the same thing with them. I get my VCR. I think I had a. a I think I had a, uh, I don't think it was a VCR and I think it was the CD, I think it was, yeah, a CD recorder, and I could record uh, on the CD then, but back in 86, it was uh, just the VCR. I used, this was my favorite couple, like break up, get back together, break up, get back together. But anyway, I'm just going to show a clip of them uh, when they first got married. This was this is my couple, Cord and Tina. And a lot of people during that time were naming their babies, their babies Cordero. But anyway, they were so cute together. They end up getting married four times. They they got divorced three times and married on the when the show got ready to go off the air, they brought her back and they brought him back and they ended up getting married as they were older. And he had two kids and everything. But anyway, I was just too much involved in this, uh, in these stories. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all Cord and Tina. And then when I get Brooke and Ridge together, I'm going to show y'all them too. Because I had, when these people stopped coming on uh, One Like to Live, I moved on to another couple. And that was Ridge and Brooke. And um, I only liked the Brook, I mean, the Ridge that was Ron Moss. He was my favorite Ridge. The rest of them, I don't look at it no more. But anyway, I'm talking too much. And <clears throat> here, it, uh, here they are right here. Let me see. Court, she's, she's not going to stop until she turns you completely against me. Honey, that is never going to happen. Yeah, not if we elope right now, then she won't be able to do or say anything to stop us. Uh, well, girl, it's not that I'm not tempted, because I am, but what about the plans we've made? Now, I've already asked Clint to be my best man. Oh, who cares about Clint? Oh. Uh, well, he hates me almost as much as your mother does, and besides, you don't need anybody's permission. Um, I'm sorry if my hand's shaking. Oh, I thought that was me. <laughs> You want to back out, do you? No way, girl. And I just wanted to say, rest in peace to Tina, Andrea, Ev Andrea, Andrea Evans, a.k.a. Tina Lois Roberts. And she was born June 18, 1957. And she passed last month, July 9, 2023. And she uh, died from breast cancer. And she was married, and she had one daughter that was 18 years old. And uh, she was on One Life to Live from 19, uh, wait a minute, did they say 1978? Well, I, would, I wasn't into, I didn't get into Tina until she got with Cord. The rest of the dudes, I wasn't into it. But anyway, uh. She died of breast cancer last month on July 9th. And uh, like I said, the last time they brought her back, her, her and Cord got married 2011 on the show. And you know that was my favorite show. 
And she, in 2092, she left the show all of a sudden, just made a, a, a exit. And what happened was on 2020, they did a, a interview with her because she had a real bad stalker that was sending her death threats and sending her terrible things and on her job or at her home. So she had to be relocated and they couldn't tell where she lived or anything. And I think she lived like that till she met her husband and she was able to uh, live a life then. But she was very afraid and she did an interview, but they wouldn't show the location where she was or anything like that. I think that was either in 90 or 1992. But I just wanted to uh, come in and give her her flowers because I used to build my schedule around Cord and Cordera and Tina on One Life to Live. And I just want to say rest in peace to Andrea Evans. And you all, thank you for watching my video. And you all have a blessed day.